French President Emmanuel Macron has been criticised for his response to civil unrest after he was filmed at an Elton John concert during the second night of protests across France. The leader has called on parents to keep teenagers inside following a third consecutive night of rioting. The unrest was triggered by the death of a 17-year-old who was shot dead by police during a traffic stop. The officer involved has been charged with involuntary manslaughter. Yeah, I, I think there's uh, there's a, a two sides to that, to be honest. I think his uh, political opponents will say, well, look, while France was, uh, was burning, here you were at an Elton John concert. His supporters will say he is the president of the Republic, uh, that the Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne, that the Interior Minister Gerard Darmanin are the ones who are in charge of the minute by minute to response to this and that President Macron has a job as well as head of state. Now, you may argue whether or not that involves going to an Elton John concert. Uh, you can argue about whether the optics of it are good. I think it is a fair point to say that over the nights we've been in Nanterre, uh, the days that we've been speaking to people here about the discontent, absolutely nobody has said that what really annoyed than was Emmanuel Macron being at a concert while this was going on. They talk about much deeper things, about social divisions, about deprivation, uh, about an absolute mistrust of the police. Macron is, is the big boss, effectively, of France, so on that front. He's obviously got some questions uh, that he has to answer, and, and not least the fact that while some people here are asking about that mistrust and that discontent, but plenty of others are saying, come on, three nights of, of destruction. Uh, this country needs to get hold of this, that they cannot live through constant violence. And, and I think reali in reality also, the death of Nael uh, at that police road stop, shot by a police officer, led to protest. But, but now this has moved into something else. Frankly, not all of these people are up at two o'clock in the morning, three, four, burning cars, looting shops. They're not doing that because they're protesting necessarily about the death of Niall. So this has changed into wider spread uh, illegality. And as you said, it's spreading across the country. So what did President Macron uh, say just now? Well, it, it felt like a holding statement to me. It may well be that Gerard Darmanin comes out with something much more specific in, in the coming minutes and hours. Uh, Macron said that parents do have to take more responsibility uh, for their children. He talked about the impact of social media, saying that in Snapchat and TikTok in particular, uh, were allowing for this violence to be, to be arranged. Uh, and also he talked about what he described as the intoxicating effect of video games, violent video games. Uh, and, and the youngsters were playing out effectively what they had seen and learnt from video games on the street. I think there's a chance of sort of more curfews, maybe more restrictions. And I think it's worth remembering that here in Nanterre there is another big focal point tomorrow when uh, Niall's funeral will take place. It is actually a three-stage protest starting at, at the the, uh, the Chapel of Rest, the funerarium, then coming to this area, to his mosque, which is just uh, down the road, and then ending up at uh, the cemetery. Now, remember we had that march yesterday, which was itself quite a, uh, quite a chaotic affair at times, and then ended up with big clashes between those on the march and the police. I think a lot of people will be hoping that this, uh, that this funeral doesn't descend into those sort of clashes. But frankly, nobody knows. There are so many question marks, so many fears that linger around the destruction that is happening in France. Macron, I don't think, has done much to assuage those. A great deal of focus will be on now, the announcements that follow about how France is going to get to grips with this rioting, this disorder that is sweeping around the country.